Hello, welcome to Lemon Studios where we talk anything and everything entertainment. I'm of course Lemon himself, Zeke Lamone, and this is my review of the death on the Nile. Um, doing a little scenery change for the people who uh, c uh, uh, continually to watch my reviews. Usually I'm in my living room, decided to do one right out of the theater. Uh, I love me a good whodunit. Uh, I like Kenneth Broughton. Uh, uh, I was really looking forward to this, and also I'm also a fan of the murder of the Orient Express. It's a one and done type uh, whodunit. Like, that's the thing with whodunits. Whodunits is really based on, you know, the reveal, the mystery behind it, and would I rewatch this to see if I can catch it going forward? Uh, this is a uh, whodunit that you only watch once and that you're basically done with it after that. Um, because the way that it is shot, I, like, you know, the night when the murder happens and then, you know, him finding it out. We're not really solving it with him, and there's not clues for the audience to really figure out. It's like once he figures out, then he explains it, then we get flashbacks with it. Um, so that, that, was a, that was a bit of a bummer. I kind of wish we would have saw more of the night of when it happened, like this one super long take of everyone doing their thing. Because everyone has a motive to it. Um, also, to me personally, the killers are predictable. I called it. Uh, they did keep me on my toes. They did have me twisting and turning for a little bit. But my gut feeling was this person or persons and um, <laughs> and then you know it turned out that was that was it uh, but you know for the most part it's a very fun ride I enjoy it for the most part that it is I mean everyone's freaking fantastic I'm not going to certain performances because I feel like if I say oh this person performed great that just makes it like an obvious suspect and all that stuff so I'm trying to keep it as limited as possible Overall, uh, you know, it's Valentine's Day weekend. This is a good date movie, yeah. I mean, if you, you know, you gotta, you wanna drag your boyfriend out or, you know, force your girlfriend out of the house to go to a movie, I, I think this is a good one to go to. Uh, but definitely a one and done. After you watch it, you're like, oh, I, I've seen it and I'm done with it. If I had to rank it on the limit scale, it's a lemonade. It's nothing to really like, you know, to really rush home about. And it's nothing super, super, super uh, crazy to do. Uh, another thing that really bugged me about this film is the constant cuts. The constant, constant, constant cuts. <laughs> like, I get it, you, you can only do so many things with uh, cutting the camera back and forth between people having conversations. But, you know, just do a lot, like do a pan shot. There was, also, there, was, there was this one cool thing that they did with Windows where they were cutting back and forth with such a dialogue heavy movie, but God, dang like you don't need to do I am talking now this other person is talking now this other person is talking and just keep the camera cutting back and forth like if it was panning like this I would have enjoyed it a lot more but it was literally just I right, here's the talk cut now I'm talking it just really 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 bugged me <laughs> with it going through and that was so that was like a big standout but yeah overall it, it's a it's a pretty decent movie uh, not, again, nothing really home to run about. Have y'all seen the death on an owl? Comment below and let me know. If you like this video, give it a like. And uh, if you like me, hey, hit that subscribe button. Be uh, calm and courteous. And what's your favorite movie theater to go to? Mine's obviously Cinemark. That's, it's been my home forever. <laughs> this is my home. Uh, yeah, I'll see y'all here next time at Lemon Studios.